This presentation is on Voice Over Internet Protocol, or VOIP. The Voice Over Internet Protocol, pronounced VoIP, is simply put, phone service over the internet. Um, it also is known as IP telephone, broadband telephone, or internet telephone. In its simplest form, it only requires a few simple pieces of equipment. Obviously, it requires a telephone. If you're going to use your regular old analog phone, then there's a converter box that you need to get that connects to the phone to convert the signal from analog to digital. Also, it requires a broadband internet connection so the box can connect directly to the internet via the modem or router or whatever you have, and then from there it goes to the internet. Um, if you opt to not use an analog phone, you can also use a computer with a headset attached or um, any other number of pieces of equipment designed specifically for that task. It adva its advantages over the traditional telephone are it can be integrated with various business applications. It's easily installed and configured. Um, it's also easily expanded. Um, it's a very portable system. It can be used um, anywhere that there's an internet connection. And it's got more default features than your regular standard telephone service. In addition, it's more cost effective. Here's a short video to show you a little bit more about how voice over IP works. Hi, this is Dan Muchnock with Opticom Consulting, and welcome to our free video series on frequently asked questions in telecom. The question in this video concerns voice over IP technology. The question is, what is voice over IP and how can it help my business? Voice over IP, or VoIP, is a technology available in many modern telecommunications systems that enables a firm to use their data network to carry voice traffic. The term IP stands for Internet Protocol, which is the language that computers use to communicate over the Internet. Voice over IP is a technology for converting voice communications into digital packets for delivery over data network. Most commonly, that data network is the Internet, but it could be any data network running the Internet Protocol, such as a business's private data network. What makes VoIP different is that it relies on the Internet protocol for these tasks rather than the proprietary phone company protocols. Since it is based on a widely available technology, it can be made available to the general public more cheaply. Also, the nationwide build-out of broadband networks has made Internet access available almost everywhere, enabling businesses to connect their locations through the Internet rather than building expensive private data networks. All of these factors have converged during the last decade to make VoIP an inexpensive option for most businesses. Now we can talk a little bit about how VoIP works. To connect two phones and carry on a conversation, VoIP requires a device at each end of the conversation called a VoIP modem. This device can be standalone, part of the phone, or part of a phone system, but it is always part of the conversation. The VoIP modem is the device that converts the analog signal to digital and back again. During the conversation, the modem takes the voice signal from the phone that is sending and converts it to digital packets. It transmits these digital packets over the internet addressed to the second modem. The second modem converts those packets back into analog voice signal and sends it to the receiving phone. The most common way that businesses can take advantage of VoIP is through a technology called SIP trunking. SIP trunking is the application of voice over IP technology to provide connectivity to your phone system. You can buy SIP trunks individually, in packs, or even in as much as you need quantities. Since these trunks are based on the VoIP technology, they offer the same benefits and suffer from the same issues as other products, giving you the voice connectivity over the internet. A SIP trunk is provided by a VoIP provider over the internet, and the primary purpose is to complete calls to the public switch telephone network. There are advantages and disadvantages to VoIP technology. In terms of the benefits, SIP trunks can offer a lower cost of operation than the traditional phone services because they can ride on the installed data network. See the previous video on this topic. SIP trunks can also offer some of the advantages of more advanced telecommunication company services, such as the ability to have multiple phone numbers over a single trunk line and the ability to have a single connection handle multiple, multiple simultaneous calls. In addition, SIP trunks can offer features that were never previously available. For instance, you can have phone numbers from California ring on lines in New York, or anywhere for that matter. In this manner, you can have long-distance calls operate like local calls and at a very inexpensive rate. 
SIP trunks usually come with advanced features like caller ID, call waiting, call return, voicemail to email, e-fax, etc. that can be managed via a simple web interface. As with VoIP, SIP trunks can unfortunately be slightly less reliable than traditional services. The older analog phone services were built with tremendous redundancy, so that phone service would always be available even under extremely adverse conditions, which really meant that they were over-designed for the typical user. More modern data networks were built to operate at a much lower cost, but with a slightly higher risk of failure, and SIP trunks carry that same risk. For some businesses, that risk is acceptable, but for others, may choose differently. It depends on the role that the voice communication plays for that business. This has been Dan Muchnock with Opticom Consulting, discussing voice over IP and how it might help your organization. If you would like more information on this topic and other topics that will help to demystify telecommunications for you, please sign up for our free video series at telecomdemystified.com. Thank you. Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed the video. Now on with the rest of our presentation. A voice over IP system provides benefits to every aspect of the company, and every CXO would enjoy benefits from implementing this kind of system. Your VP of sales would enjoy increased productivity from his sales reps, more selling because they would have more time to sell. First of all, you would have integration with the computers. The calls would be able to be made directly from the computers with the click of a button. Your sales rep would access the CRM system and the customer's account within it, find the phone number and click it. The system would then call the customer and the sales rep could continue on with this sales call saving the time of having to look up their phone number. In addition, an incoming call, the information would be displayed directly on the computer screen and the customer's account would automatically be accessed, saving the sales rep the time of having to pull up the customer's account information. In addition, the sales rep would already know who he's going to be talking to before he even answers the phone. Also, the portability aspect would save them a huge amount of time and give them much more access to their customers. Incoming phone calls can be routed to wherever the sales rep may be on a given time of day or period that they are in. The home, the office, the cell phone can all ring simultaneously or separately or specifically depending on what is configured in the system by the sales rep or whoever is managing their activity. They can work from home, they can work from the office, or they can answer phone calls on their cell phone, all at the exact same number that the customer dials. Voicemails can also be sent as an attachment in email to the sales rep's smartphone or laptop or computer, wherever he is, so he can listen to it between meetings when he's on the go, and decide if he needs to respond immediately or if it can wait till he's back in the office or at a more convenient time. This way he never misses an important phone call or loses out on a sale because he had no idea till the next day that he had a voicemail. Also, outgoing phone calls can be made from anywhere the sales rep has an internet connection and it will show the office number on the caller ID. That way his customers know that it is him calling. To the CMO, there's advantages of reporting, for instance. The calls can be tracked. This allows the CMO or his staff to identify the popular times of days the successful sales calls are occurring and identify the location of the inbound and outbound sales calls so that they might focus an ad campaign where the sales rep is currently spending his time or his, his efforts. Also, a phone number can be easily assigned and used in conjunction with an ad campaign to track the business generated from that campaign to see how successful that ad may or may not be. The CMO can also use the voice over IP system for branding. First of all, they can have a customized memorable phone number to help align with the company's strategy, something that the customer will remember or think of to call them when they need their business or when they need their service, excuse me. With voice over IP, you're not limited to your local service area when selecting exchange, so that opens up a whole new realm of phone numbers that you can use for your business. Also, you can use a voice over IP to promote a green image. 
things such as reducing your reliance on copper-based landlines and paperless faxing to save trees and help the environment. Also, like with the sales reps, the numbers are portable. Calls can be delivered if you're at a trade show or out of the office. Uh, important voicemails are also obviously delivered via email. Also, you could set up an additional temporary phone line if you're at a trade show for customers specifically that are at that same show with you for whatever they may need or whatever you're trying to sell them. Your COO, your chief operating officer, um, has the advantage to help his customer service reps and increase customer satisfaction. Calls can be recorded. This way they can be used and stored for training purposes to help the customer service reps do a better job. Identify their weak areas, identify their strong areas, and help them improve servicing the customer. Also, calls can be routed. This means that you know you only need one call center or one office for multiple locations to answer phone calls that may be intended for each satellite office or location that you have. You would only need one receptionist to answer all these calls. Also, employees can telecommute. Calls can be routed to their home or wherever they may be to answer customer service phone calls. Various locations can also be utilized to ensure coverage around the clock using one simple phone number from the customer's point of view. That way, you have customers that can call at 3 a.m. or at 2 p.m. and they would receive call the same number and receive the customer service they need. Also, it's a very flexible system. Changes can be made easily through the web interface in the case of adding or removing employees or extensions. Again, it's integrated with your sales and CRM softwares, and the phone systems can be integrated automatically to access a customer's account when they call in so your customer service rep knows who they may, may be speaking with. Call volumes can be tracked to know how to adjust staffing levels for busy times of day or times of day when there may not be as many calls coming in. To your CFO, He's obviously concerned about saving money. A voice over IP system would help him reduce your operating costs. Multiple locations can each share in the network. It would drastically reduce your long distance calling charges and in some cases even eliminate them. Only one reception desk would be needed for multiple locations, cutting your staffing costs. And the PC and phones operate over the same line, so you would not have to install separate lines for phone and separate lines for your internet and broadband services. Also, a traditional phone may not be necessarily required, which would eliminate that cost. And again, as just mentioned, you would have better control of your staffing expenses, reducing that overhead and that wasted money spent when you are overstaffed or possibly understaffed. Um, also, to the CFO, you would enjoy increased revenues from the increased productivity of the sales department and your increased customer satisfaction. Finally, with the CFO, what does the CFO, excuse me, the CEO, not the CFO, we just got done with the CEO, CFO. What does the CEO benefit from this? With the successful, successful implementation of a voice over IP system, a CEO will see the increased sales, more productive sales reps and more in-touch sales reps, and increased market share. You have positive corporate branding and more efficient advertising. Also, there would be improved customer satisfaction with better trained and equipped customer service reps, and it's easier for the customers to get the customer service that they need. Also, he would enjoy the benefits of the reduced expenses. There's less support staff necessary for a voice over IP system, the reduction or elimination of the long distance charges, and the reduced hardware expenses. All of these factors combined would allow the CEO to be able to show an increase in the stock price, which is what he's held responsible for. Thank you very much.